All right, today we're going to the chapel, and while we're not going to get married, we're about to witness something very cool. We're about to see a glass blower in action, and his workspace just happens to be an old church, which adds to the cool factor. Take a look. Peter Greenwood made this, and this, and this. As a matter of fact, this entire old church is filled with his creations. Peter made these things, not a machine. It didn't go down an assembly line. He made it with his own two hands and his mouth. Peter Greenwood is a glass blower. The first time I worked with glass, that was it for me. That was 38 years ago. I do a, a range of work. He certainly does, from vases to pictures to wall sconces to pieces of furniture that contain his glasswork. I can show you one other piece over here. This, is, this was technically the most difficult piece for glass that I made. And this was made years ago. But this was all done hot on the end of a pipe. You know, I made the dragon separately. All these parts were made separately. And if you imagine that on the end of a steel pipe and try to put that together all hot and not have it crack or warp and, you know, that was, I had two good assistants to help me make that. When you're working with glass, it's, you know, it's amazing. It's, what you can do with it is just simply amazing. Agreed, an amazing process that Peter shares with others. The public can come in and blow glass. They can make a paperweight or a flower. A five-year-old can come in and blow a Christmas ornament. Uh, the oldest student I've had is 92 years old. Uh, I've had over 4,000 students here, all ages, and everybody really enjoys it. It's, it's a quick, short 15-minute workshop. You can come in, make a paperweight or a flower. If you want something more involved, they do a, a one-hour workshop where you make a, four pieces of glass. It all starts with these small tiles of glass. I just melt clear glass in the furnace. The furnace that holds the glass runs 24 hours a day. The glass is on the end of a heated metal rod. Peter works his magic and turns the heated glass into beautiful works of art. Today, Peter is showing me how to make a paperweight. We start by selecting the colors which come from these tiny chips of glass. I have several choices and go with orange and white. I'm ready. I've got my glove and my glasses. Peter explains exactly what's going to happen and the process begins. After Peter retrieves the liquid glass from the furnace, I start by rolling it in the colored chips. Okay, it's all yours, Scott. Just keep it turning. That's it. Perfect. You keep rolling it like that. All right, now you're going to lift up the pipe and come straight down. Make sure you hit a spot where there's color. Press down. Press, press, press. That's it. Now roll it back in the color again. Just come on its side. Change your grip back up. Just roll through it. The glass cools off quickly. Keep your angle down low like this and just roll right through it. That's I mean, terrible. No, it's, it's exactly yeah. what you needed to do. All right. You just, see, you want to cover the glass with the chips of color and you manage to do that. Okay. So I'm going to cool off the pipe and then you're going to heat it at the furnace. Yes, we keep reheating the glass so we can continue to work with it. Peter has me sit down and we start to shape the paperweight. What I'm making right now is the middle of the paperweight. Peter covers my work in progress with more liquid glass to make the shell. He hands it back to me with more instruction. So left hand on the pipe. Let me just get you started. Okay, keep rolling it with your left hand like that. Beautiful, keep doing that. Just have a nice soft touch on it, just like you did. It's, you get in that zone and it's not wobbling. And that's it, keep rolling it. Nice. You can see the paperweight taking shape. It's an amazing process. And you're done, Scott. That's it? It's that easy. Well, that's incredible. So yeah, good now, job. now we're going to cut it off. Yeah, I'm going to knock that off the pipe. And there you have it, a gorgeous paperweight. Now, I can't take it home right now. It has to cool off a bit. It'll be ready in 24 hours. You can add that to your resume. You're a glass blower now. You made your first piece. I, I don't know about that, Peter. Peter went on to make a gorgeous bowl for us, a process that didn't take more than 20 minutes. Watch as he shapes the liquid glass into a beautiful bowl. Isn't that amazing to watch? He makes it look so easy. That's a bowl. It's a life learning process. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. That was really cool. And
That's the book, that's the paperwork right Eric, now? Eric, our uh, videographer, picked it up this morning. It's all ready. It's, it was it's done 24 beautiful. hours later, but we just got it today. Isn't that beautiful? You're a glass blower. Well, so we can take classes. Absolutely. Would you like to take a class and I learn how to I make something? I think I might want to go take a class. It's so much fun. <laughs> you can I'm make a gift for someone. This, no, yeah. don't, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You can give it to somebody for the holidays, even. Oh, right. Uh, you could take the kids. They could make it because you said kids can go, too. And then absolutely. that would be giving the grandparents something special. It would be really outstanding. You can get in touch with Peter by going to his website. It's petergreenwood.com. What a wonderful day we had visiting Peter. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.